Hi guys, this is the cool down for unit seven, lesson seven. Which angle is larger? So we're looking at a clock and we're looking at how the hands form an angle. Your job is to decide which angle is larger. Also, how much larger is it? And explain how you know. So we're going to start today by looking at some of your answers. In this first one, this person said, it is A because that is almost a 90 degree angle, while the other one is an acute, so the answer is A. If I look at their diagram, it is very, very close to a 90 degree or right angle. This one we can clearly see is acute, so it's less than 90 degrees. So they also made this estimate that it's about 29 or 30 degrees and over here, this one's probably about 89. So those were really good estimates. This person labeled this one as straight. So looking at just that line, but then they recognize this is a right angle. And again, they notice this one is acute. They gave some good estimates and they figured out this one, A, is bigger. This one said A is larger because it is closer to a right angle and it is about 88 degrees and B is about 38. This person, um, said angle A is about 29 degrees bigger than B. Um, they estimated this one to 63. I think that was a little low. I probably would have gone higher for that one. But I think 34 degrees was a really great estimate for B. But angle A is definitely bigger. This person was pretty specific. A is bigger because it's almost a right angle, they estimated 89 degrees, and B, they estimated 58. So they said it's about 31 degrees larger. The common mistake I saw was that we didn't really answer, not everybody, but a lot of us did not answer the second part. You told me which one's larger, and you explained how you know, but you didn't tell me how much. Again, we're not going to find the exact answer, but an estimate is really what we were looking for. So this person, I don't see how much bigger. This person didn't tell me how much. Uh, this one didn't. This one did. So that person told me how much. And this person, I'm inferring, but I think that's what this number was. So we need to remember to answer both parts of the question. All right, guys, remember a clock is a great way to compare angles.